Hello everyone and welcome to Some Plastic Zine, my name is Harper if you did not know and today I'm going to making for the first time in my life nacho potatoes but without a recipe, any knowledge of what nacho potatoes should be, just you know pictures of them thinking hey I can do it and then using my own knowledge, skill in the kitchen and a lot of just luck and optimism to hopefully make a dish that is number one looks really nice and number two of course more importantly tastes really good. Now I have never been the best artist when it comes to improv. Improv, but we're gonna try it out right now. What I'm gonna try to do is um, have like a base of ooh. Okay, I'll just do it. Have a base of thinly sliced potatoes. Um, that's gonna be in the oven for a while. You know, blah 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 blah. You can't really see that, can you? Gosh dang it! Don't even find another pen. Sliced potatoes. You know, on the base. Blah 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 blah. I'm gonna sprinkle it with salt, pepper. You know, have oil. And the fun part will be the taco seasoning because, you know, we're trying to make this as, like, you know, Mexican as possible without actually being Mexican because we're from the Midwest! Yay! Okay, so more or less from there, we're going to sprinkle it with, like, um, a lot of cheese because I love cheese and then, you know, melt that on top. This is looking absolutely terrible, but whatever. We're just going to deal with it. And on top of that, we're going to have um, some guacamole. Oh, dear. <laughs> I hate this. Okay, some guacamole. And then some sour cream, equal amounts because I love both of them. And then we're gonna see how it tastes like. So, you know, we're gonna hope for a delicious carb fat filled product that is completely not healthy, but we're gonna deal with it. And yeah, I'm going to throw this away because this looks absolutely terrible. Actually, looking at it, it kind of has some like semblance of beauty in it. Or not, I have no idea what I'm doing right now. But more or less, with that, let us begin. Okay, so first things first, we're going to peel this potato. I thought I could probably have it, you know, just regular, but there are a couple of um, notches that can feel a little bit um, old parts on the potato. So just in case, I'm very, very paranoid, I'm just gonna actually just um, skin it all. So I'm just gonna easily do that. There we go, we have the skinned, nicely peeled potato. So I'm going to grab a cutting board and then we're gonna cut these in like thin slices just like this. More or less we're gonna make like, kind of like a medallions. So uh, let's see, the first one's not really make a lot of difference. So we're just gonna do that and then. There we go. So they look kind of nice like this, a little thick, but not too thick. So we're going to put this in a bowl and then season them up and then put them in the oven. Actually, I should probably preheat the oven to 400 degrees. One second about that. Okay, so I messed up a little bit. and I forgot to preheat the oven until right now. So because of that, I'm actually gonna let these um, potatoes uh, just like soak in water. Uh, more or less, they, you know, they don't brown as I preheat the oven. Also allows some of the starch to come out of the potatoes, which is always nice for, you know, crispy potatoes. Uh, so I'm gonna be doing that. And then right after the, the um, oven is done preheating, then we'll actually season them and oil them up and then toss them in the oven. The oven is now preheated, so we're just gonna start actually getting this ready to go, so I'm just gonna pour some oil in and then um, some salt, nicely salted. There's a lot of salt, but we're just gonna do it with that. And then there's a little bit of pepper. And then the real thing we care about, the taco seasoning. So I probably use all this, so I need to, how do you open this? Apologies for the noise in the background. That's just the, um, dishwasher doing its thing. Uh, I just needed to like start the dishwasher because um, we had a lot of guests over yesterday and I just needed to get it done, you know, clear everything up, make the, oh gosh, the season's getting to me, but like more or less make the uh, kitchen less clogged. So more or less, we're just gonna pour in some seasoning while you hear that beautiful cracking sound for some reason. Why is that, that does not sound right. Just a minute, I'm just gonna turn off the, the dishwasher because that actually does not sound right. Okay, so everything was okay. I was just going crazy, but more or less, Back to the taco seasoning. I'm just gonna put, I think that's enough, yeah. That, that looks way, oh yeah, that looks enough. Okay, so, just going to, oh no, oh no. Okay, there we go. We have something like that. So I'm gonna grab the um, pan and we're gonna just put these onto the pan. So one second. 
Also, like usual, this pan is cleaned. It's just really old. So, more or less, just gonna pour this on here. There we go. Okay, I'll put this in the oven and then we'll see how they are. We're gonna say, because it's at 400 degrees right now, so we're gonna say it's gonna be the oven for around, um, shoot, I actually don't know how many. Let's say 15 minutes. Let's say 10 minutes. I don't want these burn, so yeah. So, 10 minutes. Okay guys, so we are back. We're gonna first see if they're actually cooking well. They feel okay. Yeah, I think they'll be okay. Um, you know, if 10 more minutes, I think they'll definitely be okay. So, we're gonna flip. Ooh. Back in the oven for around 10 more minutes and then we'll probably boil them afterward if they don't look better than this because they're looking a little bit blondish instead of, you know, brown. So, yeah. Okay, we are back from the second uh, cooking off. We're just gonna call it that. So let's first see if they're actually cooked all the way. Yep, they feel really, really good. Yep, they're all nice and cooked. Probably for the noise, of course, but I need to like, you know, keep the, the thing going or else I'm in trouble. But more or less, I'm just gonna flip them. Ooh, that looks like a way better browning. So yeah, they look way better on the other side. They look really pretty, I just want a little more crispiness, you know, this is how, what's his name? Jesus Christ, what's his name? Uh, let's see, uh, completely irrelevant and completely obscure mythology. Let's see, Icarus. This is how Icarus fell, but more or less, we're just gonna try it out, you know? Um, oh, come on. Try to get everything kind of spread out, but also kind of together because my broiler is kind of just like on one side. And then uh, we're gonna put this in the uh, broiler I'm gonna say my first one will probably just be, uh, let's just say four minutes for the first one, and then we'll go from there. But yeah, they look pretty nice so far. And yeah, okay, so the next step, while the potatoes are frying, oh my dog's just staring at me from the window. Oh, he's so cute. Ooh, that doesn't sound good. Okay, more or less, we're going to actually start making the guacamole. So, first things first, we have our avocado. I am changing the recipe a little bit. Number one, I am not using a red onion because I forgot to get a red onion. And we had a lot of wet onions, so yeah. But more or less, no, um, no red onion. And the next thing is I did not get, uh, what's it called? <clears throat> Can't think of the word right now. Come on, you can do it, Harper. Um, I did not get a jalapeno. I never really put a lot of jalapenos in my guacamole. If I want spices, I usually just put hot sauce in it. And you know, it's not very authentic. But on the other side, I just don't really like um, jalapeno. And I just didn't want to buy it because they're kind of expensive at the store. So yeah, I was being a little ergonomical. I was going to be a little bit, you know, myself. But if you guys like jalapenos or guacamole, go for it. Just because I do doesn't mean you have to do it too. So more or less, we have our avocado there. And the next thing we're going to do is get some onion. That's not all the way cut. Gosh dang it. Okay, come on. There we go. Okay, so does that look okay? Yeah, I think that's enough. Okay, so next thing is the tomato, which I thoroughly enjoy. There we go. And then there, there, and there. Oh my gosh. Okay, bro went off. Okay, gotta check on the potatoes. So, rain check, one second. Okay, we are back. Everything looks really good, so nothing to really go from here. I'm not panicking, but you know, I'm getting a little lazy, which means that I didn't show you guys the process, but it looked okay, just trust me on that. But more or less, I'm gonna grab some garlic. I'm feeling more like just one piece of garlic because, yeah. nice so I'm gonna just put that in there like so and then finally we have the cilantro now I love cilantro my mom hates it she has the gene where uh, it tastes like soap to her but I do not and therefore I thoroughly enjoy it so I got a lot of cilantro I probably won't use all of it in the guacamole I'll have some on top for garnish but this could while because I really like you know being meticulous with this so um, I'm just gonna spit, spit up the footage Okay. 
Okay, guys, so this is how they look. Oh, they look a little bit. There are parts and pieces that are a little burnt, um, like this, for instance. I'm actually going to throw that one out. Um, but as a whole, they look pretty nice. So I'm just going to kind of, like, stack them a little bit. Uh, this potato got very, very small very, very quickly, but we're just going to deal with it, honestly. So there we go. It's going to look a little bit like so. Put that there. There we go. And we have our cheese. So we're just going to pour on the cheese and sprinkle it on. And then we're going to put this back into the oven. It's actually turned off right now. And it'll just, like, you know, melt by itself with the already, you know, contained heat from everything else I've cooked right there, right now. But then um, at the last couple of seconds of everything, you know, coming together, I'll probably put on the boiler a little bit if it's not fully cooked. Um, but, yeah, we're just going to do that. But for now, pretty excited. So... Yeah, well, let's put this in the oven and then go back. We're gonna return to making the guacamole. Okay, so here is the cilantro. So we're gonna bring back our guacamole and then we're gonna put a lot of the cilantro. That's not a of cilantro. A lot of the cilantro in here, like so. Leaving a little bit left for garnish, but honestly not a lot because it's not as big as I thought it was going to be, the um, nachos, so we're just going to put that over there. And then we're going to season with salt and just a tiny bit of pepper because, yep. And then we're going to get some lime. I just thought of getting, you know, this little thing of lime instead of a whole big thing of lime. Or actually, a actual lime. Hopefully it will be different. I've never actually used um, lime juice before in a bottle, so this will be fun. So, there we go. Gonna sprinkle a little bit there. And then we're going to just smash this up. So, yeah. And there we go. It's some delicious guacamole. Very easy, very simple. I probably should have cut the garlic more, but honestly, it tastes pretty good, so I'm gonna deal with it. So. We're gonna put that, set that aside, and then we're going to actually start assembling. So, yeah, here comes the fun part. Okay, so with the beautiful sound of the whirring um, washing machine, let's try to get this thing, this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful thing, off of the pan and onto the plate. Actually, this is way easier than I thought it was. Never mind. Okay, this is quite easy. There we go. Look how beautiful that is. I'm gonna set this aside somewhere. Next things next is gonna be the guacamole. So, I'm gonna place it right there. And then, the sour cream. Okay, there we go. And there we go, there is my version of a potato nachos with homemade guacamole, not homemade sour cream. Looks amazing. I'm gonna get a couple shots for, you know, Instagram and stuff like that. And then we're going to try this out and see if it actually tastes as good as it smells. Okay, so we are finally here. It has been around almost two hours, and we are finally at the last point. We have the amazing, um, I can't see a thing, just a second. We have the amazing potato nachos. So let's just see how it tastes. So I'm going to try to get some potato nachos first. Oh, come on. Okay. Oh, that's it. I can't do this with a fork. We're going to hold it instead. So. First, just pit out by itself with some cheese, and then we're gonna dip it, and then we're gonna see how it tastes, and more or less give you my full analysis of this meal. So, let's go. Okay, so I have finished off the dish, and it was absolutely amazing. I don't wanna toot my own horn, but I'm gonna toot it really loud because this was so good. I think the only problem I had was number one, Neymar salt like usual, um, and I needed more of the potatoes because, you know, I had too much guac, so I had to kind of like double dip and do a lot of things, but it was so good. You know, the cheese, you know, really like melted into the, you know, potatoes. Potatoes were nice and crispy, but still really, really soft on the inside and fully cooked. They were seasoned well, except, you know, you need more salt, of course. Um, just remember my dog is doing something. Guacamole was really, really good with the um, sour cream. It just tasted 
really, really good, you know? I thought I might want to make, you know, an actual, like, you know, nacho kind of queso kind of cheese with the potatoes, but it honestly didn't need that. I think if I had that, it would be literally just too much, you know? It would have three things of, you know, like, melty kind of, like, gooey, liquidy kind of substances, that being sour cream guacamole, which makes sour cream guacamole sound way worse than they actually are. That's how you get somebody to not like sour cream guacamole, call it weird, liquidy, gooey stuff. <laughs> but more or less, I think that everything just came together really, really nicely, you know? The cheese binded really well with the potatoes, potatoes was a really, really great base, the um, guacamole and sour cream really brought everything together. It was more or less, to me, a pretty spot-on perfect dish. I will probably, you know, in the future, improve upon it. Probably in a year or two, I probably will do this again, and I will incorporate maybe like brisket, pork, chicken, whatever, you know, try to get more, you know, kind of like meats with everything else because it's really just like a carby kind of dish. So, you know, bring in some protein, bring in some more, you know, delicious stuff. I think it will probably be even more better than it already is. And I would honestly say, you know, scaling, you know, rating, of course, my meals like usual from one to 10, one being terrible, I can't even finish it, 10 being it's amazing, it's perfect. I would make it again and be very happy with it. I would give this a solid 10, you know, it was easy to make, it was really fun to make and it was really really good I definitely recommend it for you guys and of course I will improve upon it as I go on making it again and you know make it better and show off my improvements to you guys in the future and of course if you guys make this meal please comment below what you thought about the dish and then more importantly what are your suggestions or improvements for yourself let's make this into a really really good dish you know collaboration is key when it comes to making food but with that being said that is the end of the video so of course if you like if you want some more from watch just subscribe I hope you guys have an amazing I will see you next time, and as usual, goodbye!